It's the seconds that matter the most. Those precious seconds that can mean the difference between life and death. And as those seconds quickly pass you by, it's important to have highly trained individuals who are dedicated in knowing how to respond, react, and rise to the occasion as they work together to make sense of a very chaotic situation. And in an effort to do just that and work together on a more frequent basis, members of the Newport News Fire Department, along with members of the Hampton Fire Department, recently came together for an intense mass casualty exercise that would put their skills and their ability to work together to the ultimate test at the Newport News Fire Training Center in the Lee Hall section of Newport News. First of all, thank you for, uh, for everybody's cooperation, especially Hampton. What we're trying to do is get a realistic mass casualty exercise. We work closely together, uh, especially on the interstate. And in the, in the next coming month, we're going to be working even more closely. So um, what better way than to meet each other um, and, and work together in a drill. Multi-vehicle accident, E64, mile marker 256, involving a school bus, possible education. You know, besides the actual real life, uh, training is the thing that's essential to make us be able to perform to the best of our ability and to make sure that we're doing everything that you know, we can and uh, to be prepared to be ready. I do have a vehicle on fire, one vehicle over here turned. A ladder six will be assuming I-64 command. All units on scene or Robin. Go to tactical channel 10. Today's scenario is a multi-casual incident involving a school bus and a motor vehicle. Sometimes what happens is you'll get an accident or an incident that happens uh, probably close enough on the border where you need to have both jurisdictions respond. Uh, no jurisdiction can handle multi-casual incidents when you start talking about 15, 20, 30 people. You're going to need more than one jurisdiction to help you uh, to cover that. You know, it could be multiple ambulances, it could be multiple fire engines and, and ladders, where personnel is the main key. Well, when you want to bring all those people together, you want to make sure that everybody's doing the same thing. And the best way to do that is with an incident training like we had today. I have a firefighter down on scene. Command to medical. Where do you have medical set up? I have one black, three reds, four yellows. We can make it as, as pretty close to real as possible. You know, the only thing that, that you won't see here is actual real blood. And uh, but otherwise, that your heart rate does raise a little bit when you even when you're practicing and when you're on the uh, uh, on the scene. So we try to make sure that you know, you're know you moving just like you normally would on the regular scene. For some of the younger people, for some of the newer, it's just like the real thing. For some of the older personnel, you know, they've been around a little bit, so they know how to control their heartbeat and how to control their, their breathing. And that's one of the things that you want to teach your responders is how to control yourself so you can help others. Hey, did we do a good survey in the surrounding areas to make sure we've accounted for all the, the patients that are going out the woods or anything? You know, every time we do one of these, you, you come away with something, well, I could have done this better, I should have done that better. And then when the real incident comes, you take, you apply that. It's, you know, you don't want to identify those problems on a real call and, uh, and you just have a, when somebody's life's in your hands, have it go bad. You know, we want to do the best we can to provide the best service to the citizens. Even though you may have a minor bus accident once a month, you don't get a mass casualty incident like this. Um, but every so often, and, and you can't just sit back and, and watch a video and expect to be able to do it. It's that adrenaline rush. There's no excuses for not training, and it's fabulous that they invited us over here and, and able to, to do this with us. Every training opportunity is as much an opportunity to shine, to learn, and, and to take lessons home, as well as every actual call that we go on. So given the opportunity to train, to play with our toys, and then to work with the different people, gives us an opportunity to shine as well. And if that call comes in right now, I go in with the full confidence of these people around me that uh, responding to, to the community as well as to each other. If we should encounter some type of issue out there, I have all the confidence in these people in the world that we will mitigate anything that happens. Scenario is over. Call everybody out, shut down your apparatus, meet up.